Hey, what's going on, guys? I got a uh, got some new welding equipment. Never welded before, but I'm gonna be trying to make a spring compressor for my 5.3 motor. It's gonna be going into my car, and uh, I need to compress the valve springs before I can put it back together. Obviously, so I don't want to pay for one. Um, I prefer to make one, and uh, I had to invest in welding equipment anyways for the project. So I'm gonna try to do this, and I'm gonna try to do it well. Um, but I don't know how to weld. So, um, you know, let's see if YouTube University has helped me at all. All right, so I've got a Lincoln 180 MIG. Um, I don't have a tank yet for shielding gas, so I'm going to be using flux core. Um, I've got a few pieces here. My spring compressor. I'll show you real quickly here. Okay, so the spring compressor is going to be partially a c-clamp that i've cut up got some steel 3 16 flat bar this will bolt into where the rocker arms bolt in this will sit over the top of the spring so i can put the keepers back in so you know the c-clamp as i tighten it will push down on top of the springs compress them hopefully that will work with my new uh pack 1218 springs apparently they're going to be a little bit higher because you know higher spring rate um, I don't know exactly, apparently the clamp that I bought is cast iron, this is steel, so we're going to find out if that will uh, weld up properly for me or not. I have a feeling I'm going to screw something up here, but I'm going to grind this down a little bit, just the edges, and uh, hopefully make a little bit better of a surface to weld to, and yeah, we'll see, see what happens there. I don't have power run yet for a uh, 50 amp output this is only a 20 amp it only draws 20 amps um you know it's 180 amp output it only draws 20 amps but uh, i gotta run it off of this uh this generator here so i was gonna do this the other day but i had to buy this stupid adapter that was 40 dollars to be able to uh be able to plug that type of 50 amp plug into this type of 50 amp plug so yep <laughs> supposed to preheat this cast iron so that's what I'm gonna do preheat and post heat so I'll get this lined up just right Oh, don't you hate when that fucking happens? Yeah. Especially when it's heated up. Yeah. Alright, have fun, okay? Thanks, man. Who are you talking to on the telephone? I wasn't talking to anybody on the telephone. I just heard you out here talking. Talking to my camera. Oh, okay, I got you. You're, you're, is your camera on right now? Yep. It's listening to everything I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Hey, camera, how you doing? Mm. Alright, go ahead and have fun. Okay. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll edit it.
Okay, so that's my first time welding ever. Um, I don't think I did a completely terrible job. <laughs> it's not not pretty, especially uh, you know I was trying to add extra welds to uh, the base here, and I was doing it where it was uh, upside down, so the uh, the puddle was sort of like falling down with gravity. I'm sure there's a better, I, you know, I'll practice, but as far as like a first little welding project, it's still hot. As far as a first little, wow, yep, yeah, that's hot as fuck. Um, as far as a first little welding project, this was easy. Anybody could do this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And you see, I've got this little plate that goes over the top of the valves. It'll bolt in right there to where the, uh, the rockers go. And I'll be able to put the keepers in. Hopefully this doesn't break. Uh, if it does, I'll just weld it back up again and uh, do a better job next time. But $3 for this guy. It was $10 for some flat bar. A couple bucks for a step-up drill bit. Really easy project. Um, I don't know if it works. I'll, uh, I'll like it a lot better than the, uh, the wrench that I went with. Sorry, my toolbox is a mess right now. But, uh, you know, I made this, <laughs> this wrench that uh, bolts in right there and then presses down. But I couldn't actually get any keepers out for some reason they were just i think it was the angle that it was pushing at plus it was resting on the edge of the of this so i don't i don't think that's a great solution but yeah my uh pretty proud of my little my little welder here man this is a really great first outing i love my welding helmet worked very well i wasn't really 100 percent sure of the settings um but I got, let's see, I gotta focus. Oh, no focus, okay. Sensitivity all the way up, delay time, um, medium. And the shade is on 11, worked pretty well. So, that's, that's that. Pretty cool helmet, man. Pretty, really proud, it comes with a bag. So I got that bag right there. And, yeah, this is uh, a milestone for me. I've never, never welded before, man. Feels like a big deal. Can't wait till I get an actual plug so I don't have to screw around with this thing. But uh, that worked very well. Sucks that I had to buy a $40 plug and use propane. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's a little sketchy. You know, it's pretty far away, but... And the line is like a big thing of propane here feeding that, so... Yep. Thanks for watching guys. So uh, I didn't show it on the video, but I spray painted this. Uh, my GoPro died in the middle of uh, working on it. So you can see uh, I ground down the base welds a little bit and there's still some spatter from the flux core and the, the paint sliding down. But overall, I'm, I'm happy with this thing. This is pretty cool. And uh, it's my first fabrication project, like I was saying. And I've just been kind of carrying it around like a little trophy. Um, some weird clamp holder kind of guy. The next video, I've already kind of filmed a little bit of it, uh, doing a little bit out of order. I took out the harness uh, from the car and the ECU I got out. And I'm about to, right now, start on taking the spot welds out of the front and removing the front end clip, uh, radiator support, so I can, you know, just move that motor right in there really easily and kind of walk in and be able to do some fab work with the motor mounts. So... Should make it a lot easier, even though it's, I don't know, I kind of want to do a tube front end at some point, but at this point, I'm just going to try to get the motor in there and do it one step at a time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.